Mmm, I love it. It smells so, so good. So dreamy, so feminine, so classy, elegant. I love this product. I love, love the smell. And tonight I'm going to review my perfume routine so i'm not only applying perfume i love perfume you know how much i love perfume but i have an everyday perfume routine i apply a lot of different products before spraying my favorite perfume so i want to share with you my perfume routine, the products, the things I love to apply before spraying my favorite perfume. So you know French girl loves perfume. When I walk in the streets in Paris before going to work, I smell so many different perfume. It's amazing. So this perfume I love, this different perfume I don't like. But you know, French girl we also love before applying a perfume. We are fond of you know perfume cream perfume powder when i go uh, after work also it's part of my day-to-day -day routine i love uh, smelling good it's so comforting before going to work to apply all these different products and even when i go back after work when i go back home it's so comforting it's so comforting it's well-being i think it's really well-being it makes me happy every day it really makes me happy to smell good to smell this little dreaming product so i'm going to show you my beauty my beauty perfume routine so the first product i'm gonna show you is the well-being shower gel so before applying my perfume I love to, of course, using different soap, different shower gel. I love beautiful shower gel with intense infused perfume. I think it's my first perfume, the first step of my perfume routine. I really love, I really, really love shower gel, which smells so, so good, so intense. So there's a brand I love, there's a brand I really, really love. And I think if you follow my channel, you know what I'm talking about. I love Roger Galet. So this is my shower gel right now. I love the rose actually, but if you can find this brand, you're gonna find different flavors, different smell, different scents. Uh, my favorite one is rose because I love rose. I love the smell of rose and my second name, actually, my second name is rose, okay? So you know how much I love this type of smell, this type of scent. And this one is very, very good. So it's not super expensive, but this one smells super good. It's super long lasting. If you use this one, actually not, uh, you don't need to apply perfume after that. If you're not fond of perfume, if you don't like applying perfume, you can stick to that type of product. You don't need to use perfume because this one is so intense, so long lasting on the skin but if you forget to apply perfume it's not really a bad thing actually. So I love this one, there's also a tea, I think like green tea uh, scent if I don't remember correctly, Magnolia, there's so many different scents from this brand but I love Roger Galet because this was my grandmother's favorite brand. She used to carry Roger Galet. I think, you know, from what I remember when I was a kid, she used to carry Roger Galet forever, actually. And, you know, I used to, I love my grandmother. She passed away, unfortunately, but there's something I really, really took from her. It's this brand. Every time I'm using this brand, I remember of my grandmother. She used to carry this brand. And also, I don't know one French girl who don't use this brand, Roger Gallet. So usually you can find this brand on drugstore in Paris, on French pharmacy also. They always carry this type of brand. But you can also find Roger Gallet online, I think, if you uh, live in the United States. I strongly recommend you this brand. It's really the classy, old school classy brand every french girl used to we use it's not super expensive it's a good quality good brand good ingredients 
everything actually is uh, natural so there's no synthetic ingredients in Roger Galet and it's such an old French brand such an old French brand uh, it's something I really love I really love about this brand it's also I have also the soap um, for my day-to-day -day use I love to use the same soap so the rose soap oh my god it smells so so good I love this brand I'm really really in love of Roger Galet so after using the shower gel, I use also the body cream. So uh, there's also other body cream I want to buy, but my favorite right now is Roger Galet. So I use the rose mignonerie. So they have a, uh, a common, I'm gonna say they have different type of rose. They have the average rose. But I strongly recommend you to buy Rose Mignonerie. So Rose Mignonerie is a little bit more expensive compared to the average rose. But the scent is long lasting. It's more long lasting, more intense. This cream is so long lasting on the skin, so intense. Right now, I don't know one brand as long lasting as Rose Mignonerie. Um, this is such a good product. Uh, so let's try together. Uh, I found this one on a French pharmacy. I'm really fond of French pharmacy. Actually, I love to spend time on French pharmacy trying new products. Oh no, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I love, I love applying this uh, body cream. So usually uh, I love to apply this body cream before going out uh, if I have like a meeting with friends, a date, um, an event, I want to look good, I want to smell super good, I love to use this product or sometimes when I go after work just treating myself, you know, after a very hard day of work at the office I just want to treat myself I want to relax I want to enjoy so I apply this product before going to bed uh, before my bed routine actually mm, and the smell is just divine so if you are a, you know if you're fond of French perfume if you're fond of like the boudoir scent if you're obsessed about French perfume, French boudoir scent, French sweet scent, you're gonna love, you're gonna love this product. It's not gonna, you're gonna like, you're gonna love this one. Uh, the smell is Rose Mignonerie. So this is a, a very boudoir rose uh, scent. I think there's like French a rose so uh, not damas rose but french rose french rose is sweeter a little bit fresh more fresh than the uh, traditional rose uh, rose de mai and i think they also combine uh, magnolia lily of the valley different uh, different ingredients but you get this very rose mignonry like pinky pinky sweet rose scent um, and really, it's really close to Miss Dior actually, but uh, the rose is more intense. In Miss Dior, you're gonna find something pretty much uh, similar. Uh, but Rose Mignonerie has more rose into it. But you got this pinky sweet boudoir rose scent. Mm, okay, if you apply this on your skin, um, someone is gonna eat you alive. <laughs> You smell super, super good. And I love to infuse my skin with that type of product. I love that. I love to smell. I know when I walk in the street, I know that someone is smelling that actually. And I also love to, you know, when I sniff my skin, I love to smell uh, that type of, of scent. It's such a, such a it's such a comforting smell it's like treating me i love this one i'm really obsessed about this product because it's not super expensive for the quality and it's super long lasting on the skin it's really a great product i'm also uh, on the i must i want also to buy uh, the oscar de la renta cream body collection so I put the link below, but it's something I really want to purchase. I really want to buy. Uh, so I'm, I love Oscar de la Renta. I love Oscar de la Renta, you know, a world, a vibe, style. I love Oscar de la Renta dress. 
but I also love uh, their perfume. It's very floral, very feminine. You know, I also review some of the Oscar de la Renta perfume in my channel. I love, love, love this brand. And I know they also launched a cream body and a powder uh, collection um, from Oscar de la Renta perfume. So I really want to buy their cream body. It's a little bit more expensive actually, but it's something I really, really want to buy. So now I'm I'm gonna show you also my routine and this part of my routine is a little bit old school vintage. I think it's rare to find people who use perfume powder but I love, I love perfume powder. I think it's super feminine, it's very old school, very classy. I love powder but particularly perfume powder. Uh, I love the fact, you know, I love, I don't know, I love the gesture, I love the aesthetic, I love the fact it's the old uh, tradition. I think uh, my grandmother used also to love uh, perfume powder. It's something I really, really love. And I, uh, I recently uh, buy from Amazon uh, the Woods of Windsor uh, England uh, Rose Anglaise. So poudre perf parfumée. So this is like the English uh, rose, true rose dusting powder uh, woods of Windsor. It's not super expensive and the smell is just amazing. This is really an English style scent. Actually it's a different compared to the rose, French rose uh, dusting powder or French rose boudoir scent. It's a little bit different um, and it would be super interesting to compare actually like the English rose compared to the French rose. Um, I'm gonna say the French rose is a little bit sweeter uh, and the English rose has something fresh. Uh, yeah, fresh, ref more refreshing actually. Yeah, it's less sweet, it's a little bit more fresh actually. It's like, um, but I love this powder. I love to use uh, dusting powder, perfume dusting powder. Uh, after I'm showering, after applying my body cream, my perfume body cream, I love to apply dusting powder on in my skin. So uh, usually on my neck, on my uh, décolletage here, um, on my shoulder here. I love the powder. I don't know why, maybe because it's a um, little bit old school, but I find it super, super feminine. You know, just the gesture of applying the powder. And usually it's also give you something more long lasting. Um, uh, it's add, adding something to my routine. And I don't know, it's uh, like layering different perfume. And I don't know, I love to infuse my skin with the powder. I just love it. I love it. And sometimes just it's just refreshing actually. The powder has something very, very refreshing and I find it very pleasant, especially during the summertime, during the heat wave. Um, and this one is super, super good. So this is like the uh, Woods of Windstore dusting powder. I think you can find it on Amazon for a very, very decent price. I think I got this one for 12 euros. So, you know, it's, it's not very expensive. I also want to buy a more expensive product, but the dusting powder from Oscar de la Renta, uh, a beautiful dusting powder, um, beautiful box so it's not uh, like this one uh, it's a beautiful beautiful uh, box with like a flower on the top it's a beautiful product uh, but for now i'm very pleased with this one so it smells a very delicate english rose like i say english rose is a little bit different compared to the french rose uh, this one has more something more refreshing and i find it very 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 pleasant so let's smell a little bit together Mmm, I love this product. I love this product so much. I love using dusting powder. Mmm, oh my god, there's something very old school, very vintage. I love into this powder. It's so refreshing, such a beautiful powder. I love that. I love perfume powder. I just fall in love with this type of product and I also want to collect uh, more dusting perfume powder. So if you have 
any uh, suggestion you're more than welcome to suggest to me some perfume powder you love uh, it's something i love to use i really love to use i think it's so feminine so classy to use perfume powder so for now i'm using this one but i would love to extend uh, my dusting powder collection last perfume i'm using and i just bought this one today but i love oil i love applying oil i find you know it's very oriental actually but it's something i really really love i love applying oil after my you know gym routine uh, after the sauna I actually after going to the uh, spa the sauna I love using oil also after a long very long hot bath I think oil has something very comforting very hydrating on the skin it's really infusing your skin with a lot of different moisturizer it's deeply moisturized your skin so there's something i really really like about oil uh, so there's a product i just found in love so it's not easy to find this one actually uh, but this is the miss your uh, rose miss your all um, rose oil actually so this product is just amazing this is just amazing I love to use this product before uh, using for example uh, before applying perfume after showering after a bath after the gym uh, so sometimes it's also replacing my Miss Jo perfume because this per this product is just very intense you it's really infused with perfume so it's so intense that sometimes i also replace my miss your perfume with this product or sometimes i'm just layering i'm just layering different perfumes so sometimes i use miss your and i'm layering with another floral sweet uh, same family perfume actually so let's try this beautiful beautiful uh, product together Mmm, mm, I love this product. I love this product. So it's different compared to the Miss Jo perfume. Uh, there's more rose. The rose is more intense, more pronounced in this perfume. This is the main note of the oil. Mm, yeah, but layering this uh, product with your Miss Jo perfume makes it super, super nice. A little bit sweeter with more rose, um, you know, more rose notes. It gives something very, pretty much, I think, more elegant actually. So I love layering, you know, this product with my Mist Your uh, perfume. So that's it for today. This was my perfume routine. I'll just show you all the products I'm using, I'm currently using right now. So if you like this video, don't forget also to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. If you have a perfume routine, also, I would love love to know uh, what is your perfume routine which type of product you use if you are using also different dusting perfume powder just also uh, put in the comments uh, below your dusting powder and i see you very soon for another video